Hey guys, what's up? This is Max with iTips TV. Today I'm going to be giving you some buying advice on building a Hackintosh. Some of the parts will be more compatible than others, and all that kind of stuff. Let's get started. So first of all, my recommended method of making a Hackintosh is uh, Tony Mac. Tony Mac is a really big guy in the Hackintosh community. Um, I boot and multi beast method because um, it's the easiest and it requires the least require um, hardware requirements. Sorry, and uh, it's overall the most stable and uh, compatible. So first of all, for my research, um, I P55 motherboard is the best choice. Um, you can find a lot of brands, P55, there's like P55A and stuff. Gigabyte, personally I always get Gigabyte motherboards, but Asus also has P55 boards, pretty much every brand. And that is the uh, LGA1156 socket, which includes most Intel i5s, i3s, i7s, and some Pentium processors. Now, just right now, get this off, just, you know, get this out of your mind. AMD makes it a, a, a lot harder. Basically, if you get an AMD processor, you have to use IATCOS, and it's not very stable. And IATCOS is another version of, you know, installing basically Hackintosh, and uh, not as stable, not as much compatibility, and uh, yeah. So, also through my research, I've realized that um, NVIDIA graphics cards are usually more stable. I have the uh, NVIDIA GTS 250 and it works um, pretty much natively with Mac OS X. You do have to put in some line of code, but um, on a lot of stuff in MultiBeast, which I'll get to in a second, uh, there's a text called NVIDIA Enabler, which basically enables most NVIDIA graphics cards. Alright, so you have, this is going to be the basic, basic, basic stuff. You have your, um, your bootloader which is basically what it lets you install Mac OS X on your computer and it lets you choose between different partitions on your hard drive. You have your KEXT, which are basically the Mac OS X version of drivers uh, for Windows, so you probably know what they are. They're what lets your computer work, basically. Um, I have a sound KEXT, Ethernet KEXT, a uh, you know, video card KEXT, stuff like that, display, um, you know. And multi beast. What multi beast is? I'll have the link for this guide in the description. It's Tony Mac is a really good guy. I sent him a donation. He uh, he really really helped me out. Um, you, I actually got in touch with Tony Mac directly when I was having problems. And it turns out I just missed a step. See, that's kind of the thing with building a Hackintosh. Trial and error, trial and error. But that's what's fun about it. And also, this is a quad core, basically gaming PC, with the specs of the new quad core Mac Pro, and it was only seven hundred dollars. So. There's a plus there with the money difference. So I'm going to give you a quick demo right now of how my Hackintosh works, what happens when you turn it on, what it looks like. So here we go. Alright, so right here I have my Acer 20-inch monitor, which is hooked up to my Hackintosh. And as you can see, everything works. If I were to launch Final Cut Pro right now, it works fine. It takes, it takes me a while for my hard drive to start up, but in general, everything works. I haven't, I haven't run into any stability issues at all so far. So I'm going to shut down and show you what happens when we turn on the computer. I'm going to turn on the computer and I'll show you the steps that it takes to turn it on without typing in anything. I'm going to press the power button. Here I'm like fan starting up. While my camera is going out of focus, I'm not really sure. Hopefully that's focused enough for you guys. All right, so it comes up with this, and by default it will it will load right into Mac OS X as you just saw. Once that bar gets there, it'll load. But as you can see, I have Windows on here. This is a flash drive plugged in that usually doesn't show up, but I have Windows and Mac, and I can boot into either or just by clicking Enter. By default, I have a Cess little boot right into Mac OS X. No buttons pressed, nothing, just like booting up a Mac, and it boots up really fast. So I'm just gonna hit, and actually. Let's do a boot test in my MacBook so we can compare. Both computers have four gigs of RAM. Uh, this computer has a two terabyte or two one terabyte hard drives. 
7200 RPM. This has one 64 gig solid state drive. So I'm gonna hit enter on both computers, which would be the same thing. And here we go. We'll see which one boots up faster. My money's on the Hackintosh, just cause it's hardware. Oh, actually, oh, I was wrong. All right, well, I'm guessing because of the solid state drive that the MacBook was faster, but um, in general, this boots up really fast, as you saw. So I hope you have a better understanding of what a Hackintosh is, uh, how to do it, and the basic ideas. When I started, I was really, really, really confused. I had no idea looking around for videos on YouTube, so I'm gonna try to help the other new people, because I didn't have any YouTube videos to go off of. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos from my Tips TV. Don't forget to subscribe.